Hello and welcome to the Wicker Library. My name is Aaliyah. I'm so glad to have you here. I have been looking forward to filming this video for quite a long time and I'm so excited to finally start. The premise of this video, if you've read the title, is I'm going to be reading the Heroes of Olympus series for the very first time and I've I gotta, I gotta be transparent here. I've technically read the first two books before, um, The Last Hero and The Son of Neptune. Uh, I read those when I was younger. I loved them, don't get me wrong, but I was reading them as they were coming out, and so I never got around to the next ones because they weren't out yet, something like that. I, I just got sidetracked. I couldn't get Mark of the Theanos soon enough, so I never continued, but now is the time to finally pick these books up again and read them as if it's my first time because I don't remember jack shit about <laughs> about them except that I was really enjoying them when I read them and I loved Percy Jackson um, when I read it when I was really young uh, and I'm really excited to revisit this world, these characters, and I'm reading these books. You might ask like why now? <laughs> um, but besides having wanted to read these for a very, very long time, I'm going to be attending one of the author events that Mark Ushiro and Rick Riordan are doing for The Sun and the Star, I believe is the title, uh, but it's another book that takes place in this universe and you, you have to read the other books to read it or at least fully enjoy it. So before I go to that event, so I don't get spoiled or anything like that, and just so I could fully enjoy that event, I want to read all of these books. And I'm looking forward to starting The Lost Hero today. I am going to be going to the library today, so I'm going to be doing homework there, but I will also be bringing this as a little treat for when I finish my homework, so I will be able to start this soon, and yeah, I'm excited to bring you all along with me in this journey into the Riot Inverse. is now Wednesday, so it's been quite a few days since I last updated you all, but I have realized that my timeline originally was pretty off. I thought I had much more time than I thought I did to read all five of these books, but the Mark Oshiro and Rick Riordan event is actually next week, so I have only a few days to get through these books and so I've I've come to terms with the fact that I'm not going to finish the entire series before the event but I'm still going to finish all the books all five books within this vlog and you'll also just get some footage of the event I'm sure but as for an update I am halfway through The Lost Hero it has been going very well I love these books and um, Rick Riordan's writing so so much <laughs> It's just so fun. See, I read these books 10 years ago, <laughs> and so it's been quite a long time, and they're just as good, and so it's making me very nostalgic, and yeah, it's making me very happy. As for the characters, I love, love Leo Valdez. Best character in this book, by far. Jason's kind of just there. I, I don't, I don't, I know there are a lot of Jason haters, and you're so right for that, but I don't even care really about Jason enough to hate him. He's kind of just there for me, and he's just confused, and I'm like, okay. His chapters are fine, they're interesting enough, but Leo is my favorite by far. Piper is pissing me off, I'm going to be so honest. Like, as much as I'm girls support girls, Piper is not like that, and I want her to stop dissing just femininity in general. That's I know that's one of the, the just showings of time, like this was definitely written in 2010 and you can kind of tell. And that's not like 
any shade towards Rick Riordan. I, I love, I love him. <laughs> um, but Piper's pissing me off. And the way she's withholding information is just so stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupid and it's pissing me off so much, especially because in her chapter, she's all like, ooh, I have this big secret. I'm not telling anybody. And then Leo is in a very similar place, but he's like, I'm not going to fucking betray my friends. Like, why would I do that? And I'm just like, exactly, Leo, exactly. Thank you. And also, let me just let me just continue my little Piper rant. The way Piper is so boy crazy for Jason, who's just there. And like, that's so fair. You really thought you had a boyfriend and you kind of didn't. And that's sad. Like, sucks to be you, I guess. But the fact that her and Leo are in a very similar place and it could be, you know, such like a platonic bonding, like a friendship and she's just like, Leo's annoying. And meanwhile, Leo is remembering that she's vegan and like cooking her these meals and like being just so good and such a sweetheart and she's just like, ah, Jason, Jason, Jason. I'm like, girl, you have a Leo in your life and you're upset? Anyway. Those are my, those are my feelings, <laughs> but I'm enjoying it a lot and I will probably update you next when I've finished The Lost Hero. So, excited. Good morning. It is now Friday, so it has been quite a few days once again since I have last updated you all, but I finished The Lost Hero yesterday and I loved it. It's going to be like four stars. I know the series gets better from here, so I'm not worried about like it not being a five star series like I already know it is and yeah I just I love when everything starts falling together I love how fast paced that book is I love the characters specifically Leo Valdez and I'm really excited to get properly into the son of Neptune next so today's plans are to head into the town over from me and go to their library because their library is gorgeous. It's where I was earlier in this vlog where there was that park and everything. I have so much work <laughs> to do for class, which is why I have been reading a bit slower. I've been still devouring these books considering my reading pace, but I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to be working on a paper for my Black Trans Studies class on a quick AMSE. So I'm excited about that, but I'm also really scared about that paper because academic writing is not my forte and I'm writing about an author that I absolutely love, which you would think would make it easier, but I'm also scared of not like doing them justice. So, you know. That paper needs to be done by next week anyway, so those are the plans, and once I finish and make a dent in that paper that's due so very soon, I will begin. Well, I technically started, but not really, The Son of Neptune. So those are the plans, and I will take you all along with me on those little adventures. Hello, so I am back home from the library. I did a bit of work. I didn't do all the work that I said I would do, but I did work on my project, so I feel pretty okay with it right now. So I feel okay enough to put aside the rest of the night for just reading The Son of Neptune because I'm loving it so much. I'm only like a couple chapters in, but I've missed Percy and being inside of his head, even when he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. And I just, I love it so much. It's so much fun and I'm excited to get into it much more. And that's really all that I have planned for the rest of the night, except for um, one of my roommates is doing a dance performance. So I am going to go watch her and cheer her on. And then I will probably come back and fall right back to sleep. So just reading, watching some dance, and sleeping are the plans. Good morning. It's Sunday. <laughs> I haven't updated in a couple of days, but I am 
plowing through the sun of neptune i'm nearly halfway finished with it i'm loving it so so much i love being in percy's head i it's just it's just giving me so much nostalgia i read percy jackson and the lightning thief when i was nine years old <laughs> and so it has been quite a while and i keep having to text my friend and be like am i supposed to like remember what the fuck this is so there is a bit of that um i do wish i reread the lightning thief series before reading this but it's okay i still get what's going on and i'm really really loving it and i'm planning to after i finish the heroes of olympus i think i'm going to read the trials of apollo before i read the new book so i know i was just i was contemplating reading the sun and the star right when i get it like right after i finish um the blood of olympus but i hear that it follows some events from the trials of apollo and in order to avoid as much confusion as possible i think i'm going to read the trials of apollo so i think there will probably be another vlog coming out within the next couple months probably sometime during this summer where i read those books but anyway son of neptune is going very well it's a very rainy a uh, cloudy day today, which means I want to stay inside and make a cup of hot coffee and just read my book. So I'm going to enjoy that. I did just finish the audiobook of um, The Book of Goose that I was reading um, by Yoon Lai, I think is the author's name. And I enjoyed it. I, it was one of those books where you read and you're like, this would become a cinematic masterpiece. I would love to see this adapted into this like French indie gorgeous film <laughs> um, because it is so mundane and it's very beautiful lyrical writing and it's like this close friendship between two girls and them growing up and it's really well done. I rated it about three and a half stars. I love the idea of that book I think more than I actually loved the book itself but anyway i'll talk about that book some more in a reading wrap up <laughs> that i'll eventually get to film but the sun of neptune is going well i'm going to hole up in my little bed with some coffee and read as much as possible today so yeah i'm not going to focus too much on homework i'm just tired of homework so i'm not going to stress about it so we'll see if i regret that tomorrow um, that's for future Aaliyah to deal with. sunny again it has been raining for like three straight days which has been great for my reading because i've just stayed inside and read it has been detrimental to my work because i haven't been able to go and like go to the library and actually get my work done but alas i am doing fine with my essays and everything is all good today is very exciting because I am getting the keys to my new apartment with my roommate. And so we're going to be moving in this week. And I'm so excited to finally be out of this place. This, if you didn't know, is a dorm on campus and we're going to be living off campus from now on. And um, this place is, it's nice having a single, don't get me wrong, but there are so many bugs and roaches and it is disgusting here and I'm so ready to be out very soon. But in other news, I finished The Son of Neptune last night. I stayed up with Lauren and we read for 
hours last night. We had like a whole readathon where we we're just like, we're finishing our books tonight. So Lauren's reading some books. I'm, I was reading The Son of Neptune. And so I finished it last night, which is crazy. I was not expecting to finish that for at least until today. Um, but I did. And I fucking loved it. I loved it a lot more than the first one. Like, I liked the first book, don't get me wrong. But that was like a solid four star. And The Son of Neptune is like four and a half easily. Like, the, the only reason it's not a five is because it's a bit slow in the beginning. But not enough to like hinder enjoyment. Just like, this doesn't feel quite like a five star but the series is progressively getting better and i remembered nothing <laughs> like absolutely nothing of that book so i don't even know if when i read it back when i was like nine years old i finished it or not like i genuinely do not remember but we are now going to be starting the mark of athena which i'm so fucking excited for athena and annabeth i used to want to be athena's kid so badly when I was younger like you know how everyone was reading Percy Jackson and thinking about like who their godly parent was I was so sure it was Athena now I I know it probably wouldn't be any I would easily be a hunter of Artemis like there's no way I wouldn't like that is where I belong <laughs> but I'm going to be starting the mark of Athena today I'm really looking forward to that because I've never even tried like I've never read this and I know that for certain so from now on it's all first time reactions so I'm looking forward to that um I'm looking forward to moving or not moving in today I'm getting the keys today and I'm going to be seeing the apartment and I'm I'm looking forward to that so much over the next week I'm going to be moving my stuff into it I'm going to not be there over the summer because I'm going back home to California for the summer, but I will have a place to come back to and I, I've never had an apartment to come back to. So I'm very excited for that. I'm going to be having to go through all my books and I'll finally have a place to have my book collection in like a not temporary space so I can actually start honing my book collection and I'm just, I'm doing so well <laughs> and it's finally sunny again so that's just kind of the cherry on top so i will update you all later once i have gotten into the mark of the theme. Friday. <laughs> it has been quite a few days since I last updated you all. I'm still reading Mark of Athena, which is why I haven't really had any thoughts yet about completing it. I'm about a third into it. Really enjoying it. That's that's all I've really got to say. Um, I love Annabeth. I love that these characters are all now together. So, you know, book one was part of the characters getting together book two was another part and so now the proper plot is kind of plotting so that's always the most exciting thing for me <laughs> to kind of have happen in stories especially series so that's going very well today i have to finish my essay on quick messy that is due later tonight so i'm going to be cramming and trying to finish that as best I can. So I'm going to be typing away. I've already made some iced coffee for myself, got some breakfast. I've been also listening to the audiobook of this book called Almond. Um, I forget who the author is, but I'll put up a little cover of it. But it's super interesting. The audiobook is narrated really well. Um, so yeah, in between reading Mark of Athena, I've also been reading that. So those are kind of the updates for today. Later today, I have my last shift at 
my job before going to leave for the summer. So that'll be a little bittersweet, but it's a longer shift and I'll probably be reading a good bit of The Mark of Athena during that shift. So yeah, those are all of the plans and I will update you when I have more thoughts. basically, which has been really nice. I haven't actually been reading too much of The Mark of Athena today. I read that more last night, but I finished the audiobook that I was currently listening to. I was listening to the book Almond by Won Pyong Son. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it like four stars. I'll talk about it more in a wrap up, I'm sure, but I wanted to come on here real quick and sideline from the whole Mark of Athena thing to show you how proud I am that I matched my bookmark to my next read, which will be Sweet Bean Paste. I'm really looking forward to this, but look at my like bookmark I have from, I got it from the New York Public Library gift shop thing and it matches so well. And I just, I needed to share that with somebody. So yeah, <laughs> but as for the Mark of Athena, which is over by on my bed, I'm almost halfway through and my plan is to get properly halfway through the book today and then tomorrow uh, Lauren and I are yet again going to the library <laughs> where that park is and we are going to do some homework in the library but after we finish because we don't have too much homework left which is so nice conference season and the end of this semester is almost over and so close I can taste it um which will mean I can read so much more but the plan is to go to a park afterward and just read the rest of tomorrow so I will probably stay up and try and finish the Mark of Athena kind of like how I finished the Son of Neptune all in one go and all in one night so that is the goal and yeah so Mark of Athena is almost complete I'm really having fun with these characters the adventures the event that I forgot to talk about <laughs> which is so funny I totally blanked um the event with Rick Riordan and Mark Oshiro was so wonderful. It was so much fun to attend. Mark stole the show. They are so funny and they are so like enigmatic and I want to read everything they write. It was sort of funny because I forgot that I have technically read um, Mark's debut, uh, Anger is a Gift. I didn't finish it, but I was loving it. It was just, it is one of the few books that I couldn't finish because it was a little too close to home on all of the triggering content. Um, and quite literally too, which was part of the reason I was loving it, which was really sad. Um, because I think Mark themselves is from Oakland and Anger is a Gift takes place in Oakland. And it was like literal streets that are near my house. And like, it's the same bus that I would go on to school. And there was a lot of triggering content that was like, I could I can visualize a little too much because I'm just so close to it. So it was I didn't I didn't finish that book, but I loved Mark's writing and I'm so excited that they were the person chosen um to work with Rick Riordan on this new book. So it was just such a fun little time. It was such a cute like interview kind of thing. It was really funny. The crowd had such good energy and yeah, I'm just I feel so lucky that I was able to go, especially with one of my best friends. Um, so yeah, we were both geeking out. It was so much fun and I'm excited to finish The Mark of Athena soon. And I think my plan for this vlog anyway is to finish The Mark of Athena, kind of wrap up this vlog and have it be part one. And then part two, I will post later and I'll start filming a second vlog and the final vlog where I'll read uh, The House of Hades and The Blood of Olympus, just because 
this vlog is getting <laughs> a bit long and I don't want to go go on for too long without you know having some breaks in there so those are the plans and it's a very sunny pretty spring day out and so i was reading outside for a while and i came back in because there were bugs and there were bugs crawling on me and i i hate that i hate nature so um i'm back inside and i'm going to read some mark of athena <laughs> It has been quite a few days once again since I've updated you all on what I've been reading and so I flew back home last night. It is now Wednesday <laughs> afternoon and so I finished The Mark of Athena on the plane yesterday. So I read it and I finished it and I cried. I knew what the ending was going to be, like I, I'd known that just from like general spoilers you kind of see around, um, but it still got to me and the way it was written, like I was just quite literally sobbing on the plane in front of like strangers, so that was kind of <laughs> my experience of that book, but I really, really loved it. I rated it similarly to The Son of Neptune. Um, I think I, I I liked those books very similarly, so it, it just made sense to me to read them that way. I'm so, so looking forward to moving on to the House of Hades, but before I do that, I'm going to read some other books in between, kind of take a break from this like high um, fantasy Riordan world. <laughs> um, I know it's not high fantasy, but that's kind of the feel of it, and I kind of want to take a step back. So I'm going to leave this vlog at the end of The Mark of Athena, which was just such a good time. I loved that book, and I've loved the last, like these first three books of the series. This is going to be a new favorite series of all time. I'm so excited to just be able to like dive into all of Riordan's works and just finally experienced them like everyone else has been for forever <laughs> and yeah so this will be the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching i know it's been a longer one and a bit all over the place but i will be coming out with some more vlogs um i obviously have to finish this series so i'll be vlogging that over time once i start reading them again but until then, I have some fun video ideas planned that uh, I can do now that I'm home and, you know, have access to a library and, you know, my, my house. <laughs> so those are those little updates. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.